Hello and welcome to the Wheel of WD Fortune. That's right, it's the game show that basically an old can of WD-40 chooses the fate of one of these machines to be modified or broken at my will. <laughs> we've got loads of things. We've got a colour corrector, a little uh thunder thing. We've got like a it's like a voice corrector effect thing, a classic from the uh, beautiful world of guitar pedals, the uh, Boss DS1 Distortion, absolute classic. We got a uh, Yamaha Digital Reverb, Woo. telephone, oh yeah indeed, we got Simon Says, I don't know whether it works but we'll find out, and last but not least we got a cuddly toy. Uh, Anyway, we're going to see what this can of WD-40 wants me to modify. Shall we find out? Okay. Right, let's see. Oh, oh, it's spinning. It's spinning. Where are we going to get to? Where are we going to go? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, oh, oh. So, it's not really an electronic thing. We're actually going for the Thunderdome. Yeah, that's right, it's a, a thunder thing. A spring that is connected to a little plastic membrane and then the membrane is connected to this rather resonant, lovely cardboard, rather lovely cardboard tube that has been very lovely painted and made in Indonesia. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. So basically what I think I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna try and turn it into a funky reverb. How are you going to do that, Sam? Well, I'm not too sure yet, so let's give it a go. So what my plan is, is I'm going to dangle a solenoid at the bottom of this, and what the solenoid is going to do is it's going to act like a speaker, pulling up and down, making this go like that, and hopefully, if I put a mic on top of here, it will sound like a reverb. I don't know, but I want to give it a go, so let's see what happens. First things first, is I'm going to try and find a way of like making this stand up because it needs to dangle so we're gonna get this miniature mic stand and then God's favorite creation of all gaffer tape mm. Mm -mm. wrap this around here nice and permanent professional looking you beauty so the plan is to use this this is a solenoid what's a solenoid oh I can hear myself I can hear my voice what this is is basically yeah that you put electricity through it and it does that. But you can make it move really quick and it can actually act as a speaker. More like a mechanical speaker, so it's like a solid thing that will move with the music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna dangle it at the bottom of here and hopefully that is gonna wriggle this and make the audio go right up to here. I don't know. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna twist that, ooh. Nothing permanent, we're just experimenting here, you know. Now I need to make a circuit that will amplify the level of the audio going into this. So that's quite simple. Turn on the uh, soldering iron. So I'm going to use this, which is called a MOSFET. This specific MOSFET is the P16NFO6 if you're interested. And what this is going to do is it's going to amplify the signal coming from the sound source into the solenoid. Because this solenoid needs about... it needs... 12 volts to move, so this is gonna have to push 12 volts into there to push it up and down. Right, I'm gonna do a super simple circuit on this stuff, which is called a proto board. It's like a strip board, but the strips aren't stripped together, so you've gotta to kinda of make the connections yourself. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see if that works. So here we go. I've just soldered this together. As you can see, it's super simple. All it literally is, is a power in and a trigger in connected to a solenoid. So you plug that in, that's gonna make the solenoid make the noise and that's gonna be the power. And then it's connected to the MOSFET. The picture of the actual circuit is right here. Boom! So yeah, it's quite simple. So um, now I'm gonna plug it in, see if it works, and then worry about the top, the microphone, the actual receiving end of the spring reverb, after that, so let's uh, let's try it. Nope. That goes to ground. That goes there. Oh, come on, work! Why don't you work? Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, the solenoid basically was a no-go. For some reason, it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to, and I have a feeling it probably never would have. So, bye-bye, solenoid. Okay, so plan B was, I found a Furby. This Furby suddenly didn't work. I realized that Furby's got a little motor in there. Because if you don't know, spring reverb, basically, instead of like pushing and pulling on them, the microphone and speaker inside a real spring reverb spins like this. So the actual sound is coming from that motion instead of that motion. So why not use a motor, a little motor? So I've literally just got this motor, tied a little bit of wire around it and put it into this MOSFET circuit, the same as it was. And then I plugged it into this drum machine. And now this is acting as a minute speaker that's going like this. And now all I need to do is put something in here. Oh, it's gonna actually work because you might not hear, you won't hear this but it sounds pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this contact microphone, hot glue it in there. So now when I plug this in, there should be a nice amount of reverb. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and play something different through it and see what it sounds like. Maybe a nice sweeping sound. Shall we see? So that's crazy. So that's actually unintentionally a spring reverb made from a thunder tube with a tiny little motor on the end. So the motor is merely just spinning the spring like this. Not even spinning, the motor's being held in place, it's just kind of fighting and making this vibrate straight up to this, which is kind of like... Anyway, that was a little short one. Wait for Wheel of WD Fortune number two. That's coming up soon. And yeah, I've been looking at my computer. Don't be scared to try it. Woo! Woo!